as women and girls, it is imperative we tap into our feminine energy every day to get the most from life. But there are some actions we take or forget to take that destroys our feminine energy. Today's video is going to be centering on things that you do that destroy your feminine energy. Subsequently, we are going to treat things that you don't do that destroys your feminine energy. Now, the first thing you do that destroys your feminine energy is you wear too much male styled fashion. This is not to say you should discard your jeans, your trousers or your suits. Rather, it is saying go for more feminine options while wearing traditional men's cut styled clothing. Instead of wearing boyfriend and oversized jeans, you could opt for skinny jeans, straight cut jeans or wide leg pants. Wear suits with more details to emphasize the feminine body and curves. Wear t-shirts that that, that we are caught with a lady in mind. And of course, we are more gowns and skirts than you used to before. This is because most times, the general self-esteem we have at a given point in time stems from the self-awareness that we look our best. But when we are always drabbed in loose-fitting clothing, Subconsciously, our minds understand that as being free and inhibited, which began, it begins to show in our carriage. We begin to walk anyhow, carry ourselves reluctantly and legs as fair. You begin to bounce, spread out your legs when you sit down and make gestures that can be interpreted as masculine or aggressive. So keep your very loose and masculine clothes for a once in a while show and not an everyday style. Well, of course, you can ditch this point if you don't feel comfortable looking feminine. But I believe that if you clicked on this video, then there is every possibility that you want to step up your feminine game. The second thing you do is you speak unrefinedly. You always dot your sentences with a swear word. You bang your fist on the table and you wrap out abusive words, even for the slightest of provocations. Ladies, I know it would be near impossible for us not to yell out damn, shit, F word and other slangs when we are disappointed, angry or perhaps even happy. What I'm saying and what I'm asking you to do is to take it a step at a time and cut down on the number of times we yell them out. Cut down on the number of times you, you, you know, you yell out the effort, the fuck you, the damn you. Slowly but steadily, if you keep going at it, you definitely overcome it someday. Well-bred ladies never voice out curse words in public. Perhaps they do so in private, but never in public. So if you're in the comfort of your house, you can decide to let your inhibitions and voice out whatever you, you have to. But when you're in public, it is a sign of a well-bred lady not to always dot your sentences and your statements with unrefined words and gestures. Please, if you're enjoying this video, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and invite your friends to this channel. This motivates me a lot. The top thing you do that kills your feminine energy is you keep sticking in relationships that cause you pain. Why do you keep keeping up and putting up with a serial cheater, hoping he'll change someday? Why do you stick with a man who's always coming up with excuses why he couldn't do what he promised to do? Doing this just drains your mental energy, leaving you powerless, weak and pitiable. Since your mental energy is constantly drained, there will be no other catalyst to push for the production of feminine energy. Therefore, there will be none to tap from, from you.
by you. Now, this sounds like a mass equation. Perhaps it's that hard, or perhaps not. But please, ladies, if you're in a relationship that takes more from you than it gives, that causes you pain more than it gives you relief, then the aim of being in a relationship is defeated. It may be hard at first, but you have to emancipate yourself from that which keeps you emotionally drained. Four, you are prone to desperation. Definitely, there are times when bad things call for desperate actions. But if you're always willing each and every time to yield the power of desperation for every perceived bad time, hard time, or even desperate times, then it becomes a problem. You may be in dear need of a husband or boyfriend. That does not mean you should be willing to do whatever it takes, no matter how stupid or how uncomfortable it is to you, to get and to keep a man. Trust me, it's not worth it. And men can sense desperation from miles and miles away. That is, if that particular man is a high-value man. If he wants to take you on a ride, he will definitely hop on, yes. He can sense that you're desperate, but he's not going to be sincere enough to tell you that he can see through you. You may want a promotion at work. You should saliently but firmly make your points known without having to be perceived as desperate. Feminine women are graceful, dainty, and subtle. Desperation takes all that away. This is because desperation leads to aggression. And of course, feminine energy abhors the aggression of all kinds. Feminine energy is not equal to aggression. So please, if you want something, go for it. But make sure you do it in a graceful, thoughtful, gentle, yet persistent manner. No one would accuse you of being desperate if you go through it that way. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more of videos on feminine energy, lifestyle and elegance. The fifth thing you do that kills your feminine energy is you hide your emotions way too much. In a world where being emotional is stemmed as being weak-headed or a drama queen, it may seem justifiable to perfectly conceal your emotions. But I'm saying it's all wrong. Every day we encounter things that make us happy, that make us sad, that make us wishful or resentful. It is always a myriad of emotions every day. So it is so unfair upon ourselves if we choose not to express any of these emotions outwardly at least once in a day. Some people are better at expressing only positive feelings, disregarding the not so good feelings. This might be a strength, but it gets to a point where you become stoic, unmoved, emotionless, unsympathetic, and always smiling even in the midst of anger. I mean, do you feel happy? Smile, laugh. Do you feel sad? You can cry, you can sulk for a while. Are you angry? Express it, but definitely in a controlled manner. Just make sure you don't become a big bottle, screw tight at the lid, filled with anger, bitterness, sadness, unforgiveness, etc. Six, you have extreme feministic views. Oh yes, I know some staunch feminists would come for my head, but please hear me out. Feminism has a place in our lives, and it will always will. Because of it, we women will began to be seen as human, just as much as the men. In Africa, because of the women liberation, the girls were finally allowed to join their male counterparts in school, politics, and in other endeavors. So it would be silly of me to downplay the role feminism has played in our lives, and is still playing. But the modern day feminism is pushing it a little bit far. It seems that almost every tangible thing has been fought for and acquired. 
yet some want to go on fighting and fighting on existent wars. Extreme feminists see men as the problem, as less than them, as misogynists, and as oppressors. They may be right based on their personal experiences, but they take one bad encounter too far that it begins to affect how they see the entire population of men and of non-feministic women in general. That is, women that, are not, that don't have favorable views about feminism. They want to prove to the world that whatever a man does, they'll do it and do it multiple times over. The problem is that it becomes a high for them and they are always on the lookout to see men and women who do not support the modern day feminism fail so that they can laugh at their faces. They begin to assume the role of men. They begin to do things that have been traditionally considered masculine. They, they, they become so emotionally tough, no softness in their bones. And because they have become addicted to the high of always wanting to win, they live for it. They are not slow. They don't spend time enough with themselves. They don't consider any other thing important aside from, you know, trying to prove to the society that women can be more than any other person on earth. You could become desperate for show off. You live to see men fail so you can proclaim to the world that your speculations are right. Men are scum, they are weak, they are inferior, and they are misogynists, they are oppressors. But just remember that desperation equals aggression. Ladies, you can achieve anything on earth now. You can achieve whatsoever you want to. You can walk, you can, you know, climb up to the moon. You can find yourself in the White House. You can do whatever you want to, regardless of your gender, male or female. But it would be better to get to that peak boxing in your feminine energy, which is natural and inherent in you as a lady. You can become whatever you want to without losing your charm, without losing your, your daintiness, without losing your beauty. That is why I plead to you. Desist from illogical extreme feminism. It totally destroys your femininity and makes you do exactly what you despise about male folk. That is narcissism. Now for the seventh and the last thing you do that kills your feminine energy faster. You talk more than you listen. Seriously, I'm guilty of this. And I'm doing everything I can to stop this habit. Blessed is she who listens, processing inf processes information before she speaks. Listening has become a rare quality now. And that is why I love my partner, my boyfriend. He's an embodiment of this quality. Listening equips you with more information, gives you time to process people's disposition, and views and it helps you give a contribution in a cool collected manner when you listen you can be able to process information you can eb be able to you know process your your manner of speech such that when you open your mouth to give your contribution everybody is in in wonderment of how collected calm feminine and yet sensible you are that's it for today ladies thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video please hit the subscribe button and come again next time on the sublime lady channel thank you